All right, this is our buddy Ghost, and Ghost uh, gets very excited when his guardians want to put on a harness. So go ahead and try to put it on. And see how he's kind of starting to bite at it. Okay, so go ahead and pull it back. So what I want to do is we want to have him be a little bit calmer. Now this is kind of the same technique that I use for dogs that are fearful of it. So let's go ahead and let's tell him to uh, grab a treat. Uh, let's open that treat pouch, the top portion, and so open it so it stays open. So pull it a little bit. Is it, you got it open? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's take one treat out, touch his nose with it, and go raise it over his head, and we're gonna reposition him back. There you go. And try to get him, there you go. There you go, and say yes and give him that treat. Yes, yes is his marker word. All right, so now what the guardian's gonna do is you're gonna hold uh, that out, but I'm gonna have a treat in your hand, put your hand through the hole, and then give it to him. Yes. There you go. And we try to get him, let's try to get him to sit back down again. There you go. Yes. Now grab another one, put your hand through it. Yes. yes. And re keep repeating that, keep it where it is. Yes. yes. Now this time, only put your hand halfway through it. Yes. Yeah, there you go. All right, keep do that about two or three more times. Make sure you're going th and and don't and just move it through the hole. Keep the keep the harness there. There you go. So he's got to back up to get it. Put your hand through it further. Yes. Let's go ahead and I'll I, I guess I'll have you scooch back. So we'll use the uh, he's he's getting too close. Yeah. There you yes. go. There you go. Perfect. And now each time you do it, you're gonna have your hand your hand through it an inch less. Yes. There you go. Now hold it just right in the aperture, just right in the middle of it. There yes. you go. Now see how it's much calmer. Now hold it an inch on the other, on your side of the harness. Yes. There you go. And do that again. One at the same position. Yes. There you go. Now hold it a couple inches closer to you. And then, yeah, but don't move the treat away. You move the treat away. There, keep the treat, yes, yes, there you go. So you're gonna keep the treat in the same position. We want him to lure, we're luring him to put his head through the loop. There you go. Yes. And so he's eventually gonna put his own head all the way through. Now you can hold it like, uh, but don't, don't move the harness closer. Make him, if you do that, you're making him, uh, we want him to, there you go. Yes. All right, and now move the harness just an inch closer to him. Normally I wouldn't move towards him, but I want him to stick his head all the way through it. There you go. Yes. And hold, do it again, but hold it a little bit closer to you, the, the treat, not the harness. And hold the treat up. Hold a little closer, a little bit lower. Yes. There you go. And do that again real quick. And I'll, there you go. And slide yes. it over. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and finish it up. So hold another treat, um, and so let's kind of hold the treat up so he's standing. You could stand too, that might help. Touch his nose and then rock it up. There you go, okay. Now put the harness, uh, hold the treat against his nose, and with your other hand, move the harness underneath his chest. Yes. There you go. All right, and then you will hold another one out, and uh, hold out the treat first. All right, now your assistant here is, is gonna clip the one on the side. Yes. Uh, while you hold the treat. Hold the treat to his nose, don't let him have it yet. Clip it, then say yes, and then yes. give him the treat. And try to smash the next treat so you're letting him nibble on it like a pancake. And actually, let's switch. Let's have you, uh, Cam, you'll give the treat, but don't uh, uh, sit back down where you were. All right, and then so hold, smash the treat and hold it like a pancake in his mouth. Uh, just take a whole treat and smash it flat. Um, let me, uh, can I have a treat? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is you wanna take a treat like, like this uh -huh. and smash it and then you're holding it so he can, he's nibbling on the little bits. I kind of smashed it too much. So flatten one up, okay, <laughs> there you go. And then hold it up and so let him nibble on it and then you're gonna do the other side while he's nibbling. And we get done, say yes. 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 There you go. All right, so this is how we can, now you saw he was really excited. So he, the position that we used here was actually good because, uh, you can grab a seat, because he couldn't actually step right there. He can't get closer to you. So he was just getting, if you're sitting on the couch, he's gonna be all over on top of you. So if you sit like in this position, that'll be uh, a little bit easier for him. Now you might also come up with a word, call this uniform or dress up. Dress up 
and then you play this. Uh, now, I wouldn't say dress up until you're able to hold your treat out and he sticks his nose all the way through it and puts his whole hand, uh, whole, his whole head, his whole hand uh, through the deal. Um, and then you're holding those treats there initially just so that he's not biting your hands. We're holding those treats to preoccupy him. But eventually you wanna get to the point where you can just uh, you know, hold the harness up, he sticks his nose through it, then you clip, clip, and then you say yes and give him the treat at the very end. Um, and if he gets really excited, Pull the, pull the harness away and put it up and don't practice it. Now, we might need to do a little desensitization. So right now we put that harness on him, that means we're going for a walk. So he's really excited. You see right now he's fired up. Now he's biting at it a little bit. Cam, or uh, you're not Cam. Yes, <laughs> come here. Get those treats. So I wanted to distract him. Um, so he's probably not used to wearing that harness. And so he's trying to bite to make it go off. So you might want to just, eventually we'd like him to wear it in the house so he's comfortable with it. But right now, maybe put it on him and then we take him out for a walk. So when he's on a walk, he's probably going to be more distracted than biting it. Now, if he is biting at it, then you can just go ahead and give him treats. Um, we want to give him treats so fast that he doesn't bite it. Now, so I might mean a treat every like five seconds, but then eventually it's every seven seconds, every 10 seconds. And outside, there's a lot of distractions. So hopefully the outside distractions kind of kick in and those stop him from biting at it. And after all, just like wearing uh, a tie or a bra, we get used to it. Dogs, well, he'll get used to wearing that harness as well. It's very really fetching. It looks very good at you, buddy. I know you don't want to hold the camera up. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. This is, yes, this is Ghost. And this is how you can uh, use a little uh, desensitization and some positive reinforcement to help a dog feel good about having a harness bill on it and not bite it.